that's enough. <laughs> continuing from yesterday. Uh, continuing from yesterday. Sorry. Uh, I want full radio announcer. There it goes. It's breaking up again. And I skipped it. Yes, yes, we know. Good God, yo, what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Oh, uh, whoa. All right, so I got Sulik, and then 10.35 a.m. Uh, Clement grazing area. Wait, so I did that. 31. Oh, yeah, yeah, getting Sulik. Oh, great, so this one. All right. Um, I skipped around, I, I restarted a bit, and I skipped around, and spoke to, uh, Tor here. Basically, uh, the Bugmen were Red Scorpions, which were ridiculously easy compared to the freaking Geckos. I mean, I barely, I barely got a scratch. And, um, Sulik, he is, uh, hell on wheels with that freaking mallet. So he was knocking him into next week. So we are gonna get out of here now. And I'm going to not do Whiskey Bob's quest. I'm going to go to Trapper Town. And do a little bit of, uh... Yeah, I think we're done here. I don't know why, but I have a, I have one of these. I don't know what I can use these for. These red scorpion pincers are hollowed out and have a strap with a broken buckle on the end. Oh, are they? Are they fist weapons? Hang on. Hold up. Wait a minute. I said hold up. Hmm. What could I possibly use these for? They, they seem to be a unique item, so I'm going to hold on to them. But let me get my sharpened spear back. Range 2. Range 2, meanwhile. And we're back in town. Okay, good. Uh, six. Let's save it, and this is gonna be a quick save. I try not to screw up again like last time, but okay. Um, I'm a little hurt, but not really. I think I'm all right. Sulik took some uh, damage too. I could spend the night. I don't want to spend the night though. I mean, hell, I could just wander around the wasteland a little bit. But we took care of. Oh, that's where. Okay. And now that spot is gone. Alright, well I think we explored everything else here. I didn't really deal with the Duttons because they're bad news and I'm a goody two-shoes. Usually. Who's gonna have money? She's gonna have money. Let's go to... Let's go to Annie's. No, that's the bathhouse. And yeah, I know, I could probably get some action, as it were. But let's trade. I'm back because I need something. Trade. Okay, three of these ought to be worth some cash. You know what, so they can hold on to the rest. Ooh, maybe I could buy a stim pack. That armor would be nice. Oh, the rope. I forgot the rope. But the rope costs, uh, Hmm, do I want the rope now? See, I'm like carrying all this extra weight I don't need to. I am curious about that combat knife. Only because it might do a lot of damage and, um... No, let's see, how much is this puppy? 337. No. Crowbar, though. Yeah, it's still not so good. I don't have this kind of cash, and I really shouldn't mess around with it. I might need the rope, though. How much is the rope? 51. What else can I toss in here to sweeten the pot? Oh, and there's that dog. That's right. I mean, I could sell this. Maybe she'll offer it again? Not really. Hmm. What should I get rid of? I'm keeping those, those cards. Definitely keeping the radio. 
Uh, and I have some bullets and meat. We get rid of a little bit of meat. Done. Oh, hello. Retro, what's up, man? Thank you for the host. And welcome to the stream. I'm trying to figure out uh, what I can do here. I mean, if I give her five, she'll give me 51 caps, which is really... I don't need all this meat. Howdy. I, I totally messed this up last night, and um, if you ignore this guy that has a quest to guard some Brahmin, the Brahmin will get killed, and then he doesn't want to talk to you anymore. I cannot believe this is 20... <laughs> yeah, dude, it is 20 years old. We are We are 20 years old from when we played this, yeah. Yeah, it's it's something else. Um, and why am I gonna spend money to get it? So I might as well. And yeah, she's not gonna give me that. No, so I gotta pay for that rope. I mean, I think we need the rope. The rope is heavy. Where is it? Forty-five feet in length. You know what? It's always good to have rope. So I'm going to pay a little. Let's do 45 and 6. Done. Offer. Alright. Okay, that's a good trade. I guess I don't need anything right now. Goodbye. And now I'm going to go steal the rest of the red scorpion from... Is that... Yeah, there's Sulik. No, that's not Sulik. Where's Sulik? Oh, there he is. Right, who's this? Sulik. Alright, i got to steal from... That's still the way I think you manage inventories. It's so weird. Um, Alright, so he's got four of these. All. And... What can I give him? You know what? Hold on to my shovel. I don't need that right now. I can have one more character, so... I want to get the dog. I think there's that dog in town. I'll have a party of three, and that'll be pretty nice. Then again, the dog will probably get me killed. Do I want the dog? Where's that mutt? Alright, the, the mutt is gone. You know, I'm fine with one companion. He already, he already, like, rushes forward way too much. Uh, yeah, let's go sell these. Offload and make some more money. It's all about the caps. Uh, well, I'll sure try barter. <sighs> Alright, what can you give me for... Wait, where is it? Am I imagining things? Where the hell are the... Wait a minute. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Done. Did I not just take that from Sulik? Or did I... What the fuck? Alright, whatever. Let's see here. Sulik, come here, man. The, the, the management in this game is a pain in the ass. Oh, I never took it from him. Okay. Oh. I guess I, I, I must have... Oh, it seeds my weight capacity. Already. Oof. All right, fine. Here, take the rope. You can hold the rope, and you can hold... Uh, what else can you hold? Honestly, that's all I want you to hold. Everything else I want to hold on to. I'm just going to hold my Nuka-Cola. Let's see if I can take these now. Yep, okay, good. I'm going to get rid of these really quick. Oh, no problem. Dinner? It's like... 12.30 by you, no? Well, hey, man. Whatever whatever floats your boat. Alright, so I'm gonna sell these. All. 40. And she's gonna give me... 35. Give me all your caps, and... Let's see, how much is that? Just one. Really? 35 and 69. So, you know what? I can actually just do this instead. 34 and some caps. 
and I think that's a good deal. Let's do that. Six caps. Done. Offer. Be done with it. Good trade. No problem. And I did uh, the same thing, man. My stomach's bugging me. All right, let's save. And now we can actually head into Trapper Town. I think I spoke to everybody here. Did I go in here? I might not have. Hold on. Yeah, I don't think I explored over here. Nothing here. But there was another one. I think this one has something. Oh my god, look at that. Flare. We're going to take all. Thank you. Take all. Oh wow, I totally missed that last time. Now how do I get in there? Oh, I have to go around. I just want to see this real quick. Anything here? I can hold shift and highlight certain items, so that's pretty cool, but... There we go. Is that blocked? Oh, there was a hole. Eh. Yeah, I guess I never explored this area. There's the golden gecko again. And that's it. All right, cool. So that was the main area. We're going to go here real quick. I'm going to hit F6. I actually need to use the facilities, but I'll be back in about three or four minutes. So just enjoy the music. All right, I'll be right back.
Retro, if you are there, um, I know you said you're lurking. Did you watch the new Doctor Who? Curious to see what you thought. Okay, welcome to Trap a Town. You see one of Clement's citizens, you see a hunter. He's gonna be like, fuck off. Oh, you don't look as though you could find a gecko if it bit you. Hunter. Hunter. Have you seen Phil? Oh, no, Phil's dead, mate. Yes, sir. There are old tunnels underneath Klamath. You better believe it. Okay. Nope, because I prefer the old black and white Doctor Who, but I saw the trailer and was mad about the new actress. To be fair, the trailer and everything around the show is kind of politically charged, like the, the way that they talk about it. But the actual episode itself was pretty good. She's, she's decent as the Doctor. You know, she borrows a little bit from the other Doctors, I think, at times. But she's got the energy. I mean, if you're a fan, I mean, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, I guess I'm more of a new Who fan because that's when I got into it. You know, Tennant and Eccleston and Smith, I like them all. Capaldi less so, but that's more the stuff he was given. It's about time, double meaning though. Yeah, um, you know what it is? You might like it because it feels more like um, an episode of old Who, I think, where. You know, it's not, you know, New Who became about, like, these epic sagas and, like, the, the you know, the mystery box thing for the whole uh, season and, you know, the Impossible Girl or, or uh, you know, the Doctor is, like, the center of the universe. What is his name? Like, all this other stuff. None of that. It's it's almost like a side story. It starts out, like, I don't I don't want to tell you, but it, it moves in a different direction and it, it's got potential. Like, to have that whole adventurous uh, time and space thing. Minus, like, the overarching stories. Which I like, but, I mean, admittedly, you know, where can you go where it's like, you know, he's at the center of battles of everything and, you know, um, the most important men in the universe kind of thing. They had, to, they had to scale it back and go in a different direction. And they did. Yeah, no, I would say, I would say give it a chance. I still, I still give it a chance, but the moment I was like... Uh, like, it was a little too political, and the way some people talk about the show is too political. Even the actress herself mentioned some stuff on Twitter, which I didn't like, but but at the same time, I said, let me just give it a chance. And it, and it's an interesting dynamic. You know, it's it's not a it's not an overarching story. It's more of a, a, I think they want more episodic, where it's just like, you know, there's a unique thing that happens in that episode, and then they move on to something else. Which is kind of, you know, a lot more like old, old Who. You had a story, you moved on to the next one. You had a story, you moved on to the next one. So, anyway. I, I'm actually curious to see where it goes next. I'll give it a chance. And if it ends up being, like, too political, then I don't have to pay attention to it anymore. Again, I'm not against politics, but, but it's also, if you have a theme or a message, don't ram it down people's throat. Just talk to them. I mean, just uh, just tell a good story, and then if it happens to have a theme, then so be it. Okay, and the bugmen ever show up here, the rats will eat them. Watch out for the rats here. Okay, so we are in Trapper Town. Population. Yeah. Like I said, I'm curious to see what you think, especially as someone who is an old Who fan. I don't know too many people who watch Doctor Who. Not a... Not got a sci-fi show to follow right now. The Expanse got... It did It did get cancelled? Damn. Yeah, to be fair, I didn't watch it, though. <laughs> I watched the f parts of the first season, and then I, I, I read the book, and then the book started... I read the first book, so I know what happens. And I was started the second book, and then I just... I don't know why I lost interest. Sure wish you had m enough money to get a bath. <laughs> Alright, that's the leader. I don't like... I don't like walking about at night. Everything's so dim here. I, you might like them. I'm gonna relax at the bathhouse. Alright, 
You do that, lady. I'm gonna loot your stuff while you're not looking. I know, seriously, I need to like, is there a wait period or something? Because it is too damn dark. Oh, there's a desk. Okay, I might be able to get something here. Nope. I almost wonder if I should maybe try my hand at doing uh, review shows, but I don't. I'm not sure people would want to hear what I have to say, or if I could actually sound uh, coherent most of the time. All right, let's save here. Because there is a door here. Right. Door appears to be locked. Well, now. Never stopped me before. Ooh, this time I picked the door. Nice. Let's see what's in the room. A lot of oh, a locked chest. What's in the box? Oh, nice. I can sell this for quite a pretty penny. Well, yeah, he was the most interested. Well, I, I didn't see that, but I, I knew that was gonna happen, or at least. I'm not. It's not as definitive in the books that he dies, but he, yeah, you, you pretty much assume he's dead. Um, yeah, he was the most interesting thing about that show. You know, he played he played it with with, with depth, with that, which I think I, I liked. I mean, it was a little creepy, but I mean, it's also the. You know, he kind of falls in love with Julie, who's like twenty and he's like fifty, but hey. Oh, yeah. You're going to be making some mint here. Done and done. The moment he died, there was no more planet side angle at all. Really? Wow, now I'm curious what the, if the show de departed from the book. Because I don't remember him being particularly involved with uh, planet stuff at the end. I mean, I don't, I'm not, I don't want to, I don't want to spoil it for anybody that pops in. Yeah, give it a chance. You might like it. it what's nice is it, you don't really need to know any of the stuff before, so it, it, they kind of treated it as a jumping on point. Which, yeah, uh, uh, maybe a soft reboot. I mean, it's she's still the Doctor. You know, she still remembers things, but there's not going to be any of the classic villains this season. It's it's um, they're they're really trying to just freshen it up, and maybe it'll be good, and maybe it'll be you know politically driven nonsense. Who knows? Amazon did a fantastic job, though. Amazon? They did The Expanse? I thought it was sci-fi. Wow, I just got a ton of gecko pelts. I just stole these people's hard-earned stuff, but whatever. Let's see. Alright, six. I can't sell them, though, because... Um... No, they don't have enough caps. Even just one of those pelts is, is a lot. You have a ton of sci-fi DVDs to work through. All the classics. You know what I've been wanting to see? Um, I don't know if I wanted to revisit uh, SG-1. Stargate SG-1. That was one I, that I kind of wanted to watch again. I mean, Amazon does have a, a ton of stuff. I, I should be... I could catch up on... Uh, you know, I could re-watch Battlestar Galactica, the newer one. Oh, nice. Ten seasons of awesomeness, right? Right, well, where is this guy? Oh, all right, I have to go back here. What you wearing? Can I come with you? <laughs> have you seen any bugs? Buzz off, kid. I said buzz off, kid. Who's this guy? You got anything to say? No. Hey, hey. No rest for the poor. Hmm. 
You picked up all the seasons and those SG One magazines are three, three episodes per mag. What do you mean? They had like uh, written short stories. I didn't know about that. Oh, you know what's on uh, Amazon now? Um, if you have Prime, uh, Atlantis, you can watch. So uh, maybe I'll sink my teeth into that. But I, I'm more. I think I was more of a. I was more of an SG One fan. Atlantis didn't suck or anything, but it it was. I, th I felt it was more uneven. Where is this guy? Oh, here's the door. All right, I went into here. Can't go into there because that's blocked off. That I did what I could, and the rest is blocked off. And well, you know, I didn't check out over here. Oh wait, I don't think I can even get to there. Nope, fenced off. All right, yeah, we are ready to to do the rat quest. And yeah, sorry, you're right. It was sci-fi. I watched it. Via Amazon Prime, so I got muddled than the Expanse. Yeah. There's a weekly UK magazine called of SG1, but I got the DVDs, DVD sets, and the maps, and we'll set off the mag cover DVDs. Atlantis on Blu-ray? Nice. 50 or 60 hours of commentary? That's insane. Oh, man. All right, let's, let's talk to this guy. Well, first off, does he have anything? No. Oh, there's the desk. Always check the desk. Nothing. All right. Hello there, friend. Nice of you to visit all of us here. My name's Slim Pickett. I talk for Trapper Town. Well, there's Slim. My name's Parsis, too. Why do you call this Trapper Town? Well, this here part of town is where all of us trappers have... Uh, wait, wait, what? Oh, live. When well, we're not out trapping geckos. Only problem... Only problem about the free digs are the rats in the north side. We do have most of the entrances to that part of the mall rat uh, barricaded pretty good. Man, I can't talk. <laughs> do you ever go to the north side? We blocked off the entrances to the north side of town, except one. I have the key to that one entrance, just in case anyone needs to get over there for any reason. Can't figure out why anyone would want to. No, I sure wouldn't. Interesting. I'm interested in getting that key from you. You want the key to the north side of Trapper Town? What do you want that for? I'm an explorer. I want to explore every place I can. Besides, maybe there's a geck forgotten on, on a back shelf in there. Well, okay, here's the key. Just don't go stirring up too much trouble back there. Make sure you close the door behind you. Uh, thanks for the key, Slim. Before I go, I have some questions for you. Uh, tell me about trapping geckos. You're interested in trapping, huh? He looks you up and down. I don't think I'd try it if I were you. You might get your hands all dirty and calloused. <laughs> Anything else you want to know about? Well, I sure wouldn't want to get my hands dirty. Tell me something else. Uh, tell me anything. But uh, do you know anything about a Garden of Eden creation kit? Oh, you mean a gek, huh? Well, I saw an ad for one of those in an old magazine, but I don't think they exist anymore. Certainly not around here, any place. Really? Tell me about something else. You sure have a lot of cars here. All oh, right, there's the car in this game. Ah, oh, we have a whole. Lot full of cars, all ready for their owners to come back from shopping. Thing is, they never did. Not a dang one of them runs, though. There's a real beauty of a uh, Chrysalis Motors Highwoman just east of here. But I haven't figured out how to get that get to it yet. Hmm, Highwoman. Interesting. Okay. And yes, that car will be ours. Oh, yes. Uh, rats. Tell me more about rats. Well, they taste pretty good if you spit roast them with just a twitch of herbs. But most of the time, they can be a real nuisance, and they're pretty getting worse. We barricaded the north side of town, but they're sneaking through anyway. There's one door to the north side right here, but I have it locked. At home, Mom just used to pan fry them with a little butter. But tell me more about the rat attacks. People have been disappearing. Just then, as slow, just them as uh, were slow and sickly for now. Of course, they didn't stop to cook the food. Uh, ooh, like us. Ooh, okay. They just gnaw it into a few bloody clumps of hair and rags. At least, uh, that's all we found in the morning. I've even heard talk that there's some kind of giant rat god that tells them what to do. Pan-fried rats, yeah. Interesting. Tell me about something else. Thank you. All right. We are going to... Let's save this proper. And in instead of whiskey dumb, we're going to replace this and... About to enter the rat maze. 
Okay. Did I just close the door? No, I didn't. Okay, good. Anything here? No. Do I have to actually use the key? Yes, I do. Damn it. game I oh really it doesn't actually I unlock the door okay let me get my pipe rifle with my crappy rounds come on Sulik 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 I need you to talk to you about your gear. We need to. Oh, what is this? You got it, friend. Need to know what kind of weapons you can use. We be good with fist, spear, big hammer, submachine gun. We be a handful. Yeah, she looks my boy here. Can you consult the spirits for me? The spirits are sometimes hard to understand. They see things you and we can't. Well, what do you? T what do they tell you about this place? Evil spirits aren't killing cattle. What you be? Alright. So look and you can tell alright, that's it for now. Alright, come on, man. Oh yeah, is this thing reloaded? Alright, don't need to reload it. Okay. I got a crappy ass pipe gun, but yes, that shows up in New Vegas. Come on, man. Are you coming or what? I don't want the rats to get through. Dude! I actually want to close and lock the door, like he asked. Oh my god, dude, you're not making this easy at all. Alright, there we go. Alright, well I just closed it. I don't need to lock it. You no, know, I was sitting there, I'm like, come on. Hey, you wanna you wanna maybe maybe do some questing or what? Come on. Alright. Holes everywhere. Okay, let's check. Oh. Lots of places to check here. Oh, here come the rats! Sonic! Ah, I don't need them. And I'm certainly not going to waste bullets on the rats, so... Oh, God. <laughs> what you be needing, boy? Thank you. That would have been embarrassing. Wait, what? There's a spot. Oh, there we go. Oh, no, come on. Where's the door? Okay, there is no door here. I have to go all the way around. I really wish I did this in daytime. Can I wait? Oh, you know what I can do? I can try and first aid myself. Let's do that. You will do this. Motherless piece of shoe. Come on. Not wounded, wounded. Uh, I can't doctor my way. 25% is not very good. I healed five hit points. Nice. Oh, oh right, just in time. Sonic! Yeah. <laughs> he knocked the shit out of that thing. Okay. We see something here. Wow, that's a lot of rats. Okay. That is a lot of freaking rats.
I do not like doing this pitch dark. What time is it? Okay, I still got plenty of time. Amazing how big the screen area maze an enemy count at times in this game. Mm. Well, I wonder if um, I wonder if the resolution had anything to do with it, because this is the you know this is the patched uh, version of Fallout 2. Like, there's a classic version that has the lower resolutions, and then they, you know, GOG and Steam, they uh, did updated versions that support more modern resolutions. That's why I'm playing this at 1280. So I don't know if that made a difference or not. I don't remember enough. Really? There's nothing else here? Thanks, Silic. Let's open that door for me. Lots of doors and nothing. Hmm. Oh. That's a dresser? Come on. I just want some bullets, honestly. That's the one thing I really need. Well, and a gun. Like a real gun. Not this POS that I have right now. This is probably a door leading down. Need to get updated with GOG stuffs, good deals and patches. Yeah, I mean, there's this. I I rebought. Um, I mean, I only spent five dollars on it the first time, so it's not bad. But I rebought Planescape Torment. Uh, because I wanted the enhanced edition that I didn't have to. G I mean, you could you could futz around and do the patching yourself, but it's annoying. So, Spoon, good morning. Ah, you are up. Man, fuck, you're up early. Go to you going to work today? Man, I cannot find anything. By the way, I I'm, I'm sorry I didn't entirely take your advice. Let me see something. Right around the corner, he's waiting. Ah, oh, bitch. Looking again. Hey, no problem, man. I get up this early every day for work. Yeah. All right. At least I'm one-shotting rats half the time. Oh, you know I want in that gun store. Oh, well, there's the entrance. Maybe I should go there first. I think I should go there first. Okay, F6. Let's save here. Yeah, I um I did Taurus quest first because it was damn easy, and I didn't care to do the Duntons anyway, so. Only got like 25 minutes, and I gotta go, and I figured I'd step in while I eat my breakfast. Thank you. Appreciate it. Alright, what do we got here? Wait, I can't. What? What is this? Stuff. What kind of stuff is there? Oh, come on. Don't be, don't be annoying. I know there's a gun in here. It's a gun store. Come on. Don't be mean. We got rubber boots. I have a feeling those will come in handy at some point. Next up we have ammo. Oh yeah. Now I feel a lot better about our chances here. And more rubber boots. Uh, I will take another pair. Come on, shelf. No, there's no pistol in the gun store. What the hell? 
Oh, I feel robbed. I know I shouldn't feel robbed. I'm looting, but hey. It's a giant shelf over there. You telling me there's absolutely nothing here? That's all stuff. I checked every ladder. Uh, ladder. Gun is downstairs on floor and rubber boots do serve a purpose. I would assume to protect me from some sort of crap. So yeah. Alright. I think we got what we got from there. Let's quick save and let's head in over here and start killing some rats. Sonic! Ho ho ho! Rat was killed. At this point, I'm doing alright, getting good grades. Oh, you are just in range, my friend. Yeah, this is not so bad. This is not so bad. The stupid gecko fight was bad. If I go up another level, I should be good. Um, Sulik. Can we talk? Can we talk about you not knowing what the fuck you're doing? Thank you. Thank you. Fucking rat. Okay. <laughs> Get over here, man. I'm clearing the whole den by myself. To be fair, though, he was hell on wheels against the red scorpions. That was awesome. Yeah, the geckos are pretty bad without your preferred weapon. Yeah. Well, I mean, I could have used it, but I only had like 25 bullets. Oh, wow. That's a lot. Okay. Die. Oh, no. Back away slowly. Sorlik! Okay. Oh, all right. Well, I can zoom. One. Should be able to hit him at this range. He's dead. Come on. This French are up. No? There you go. Come on. That's right. Stand in your friend's corpse. Knocked into next week. Oh, wow. Yeah. Anybody remember um, Fallout... Uh, what was it? Fallout Brotherhood of Steel? I mean, was the game really that bad? Oh, here we go. <laughs> Stupid rats. See how I deal with them. There's a whole lot of nothing here, though. Meat cannon. Alright. Alright, we still got quite a few rats here. And I didn't even look at that, but we'll come back to that. Alright, good. Yeah. I made a mistake, by the way. I thought I was at 68% with, um... With melee, but no, I'm not. Oh, yeah, we're not going there yet. Barrel? No, but we got something here. Let's see. Nothing! Absolutely nothing! Alright, you know what? Hold on. Skilled X. Let us uh, steal from Sulik. So I want to put some stuff away. Uh, I don't need to carry all these pelts. You can carry them all. That's a lot, that's a lot of money right there. A whole lot of money. You can carry one of the boots. I will carry the other, and I think I will hold on to everything else for now. Yes. I should probably give him some healing powder, just in case he decides to heal himself. I will give him two. Done. Done. Save, and move on. Never play Brotherhood of Steel? No, not, not Fallout Tactics. Um, I'm talking about... Never find that secret weapon on the Brotherhood of Steel. I don't know what you're talking about. No, I, um... Was it called something else? It was like, uh... <clears throat> the Diablo-esque. It was all, almost like, uh... Champions of Norath, if you remember that, or Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance. It was the same sort of three-quarters, 
um, action RPG, but set in the Fallout universe, and it was it was all right. It was kind of needlessly hard, I think. But uh, you know, they they definitely kept the same sort of grungy, rundown, beat up look. I forget what it was called. There was a hidden weapon called the meat cannon. Did 100, 100, and had infinite ammo. And yeah, PS2 ARPG. Yes. Why did they never? Why did they never remake that? Oh, hello. Oh shit. Two hit points. I can take it. Oh my god. Okay, no, backing up. <laughs> backing up. So, like, please do not go run over there. Oh, yeah, you're gonna run over there, of course. Osudo! Now, I'm not gonna be able to get in there because he's blocking the entrance. The fucking AI. Alright, man, you, you can tank it. Go ahead. Have fun. <laughs> Sorry. I'm just gonna sit here and just keep hitting space. Dead. He's he's hell on wheels with that hammer. And we leveled up. Yes. We leveled up. We leveled up. I'm going to save here and do level three. Yeah, I'm I'm going to be saving a lot more now. Was it a financial success due to the PS2 and the mass changing game style? Yeah. I mean, but that, yeah, the setting is so good. But I guess it's been done before. I'm almost tempted to try Wasteland 2 after this. Or maybe, you know, maybe I'll just keep going with the Fallout series. But, you know, one thing at a time. I already did one poll to, to see what game you guys wanted to see. And this was it. And this, this one's going to take a while. Alright, so. Character. <sighs> God, what do I pick? So many good things here. Uh, swift Learner is usually the best. You're indeed a Swift Learner with this perk. That's probably the best one to take right now. Scout, you have improved your ability to see distant locations, increasing the size of explorations and the world map uh, by one square. You also have a better chance of finding special encounters. Mm, quick Pockets. Quick Pockets is useful. Um... I don't really want that though. Night vision could be nice. Karma suit, Kama Sutra Master. When it <laughs> when it comes to pleasing sexually, you wrote the book. Oh yeah. Uh, with this perk, you immediately gain an experience level. No. Earlier sequence is good. Comprehension. Wow, there's a lot more than the first game. Uh, you pay much closer attention to the smaller details when reading. You gain 50% more skill points when reading books. That's friggin' useful, too. Do you fall out tactics? I don't have the, um, patched version of that. I, I could use some advice here, though. Uh, given detailed information about your critter, you see their exact hit points and information about any weapon, their equipment. That could be useful. Cautious nature. Eh comprehension honestly at this point in the game comprehension or swift learner sounds like the best one so i would need some advice here or th let's see the blood of a thief runs through your veins with the thief perk you get one time bonus of plus 10 to your sneak lockpick steal and trap skills well rounded thief is a live thief that's also really good Oof, that's also really good so suggestions I'm, I'm leaving it down to three here Comprehension, Swift Learner, or Thief? Swift Learner could be okay if we increase... Increase ROT? What is our, our rate of fire? I don't know. Well, Swift Learner makes sense to make... You know, I will get... Plus 5 bonus for any experience is very good. Comprehension is also good because I'm sure I'm going to find a bunch of books and I can jack uh, things up. You know, I'm going to go with Swift Learner. Just make it easy. Because that's what I did in the other game anyway. And Swift Learner just makes sense. Best taken early. Oh shit. Okay. Now, uh, my small guns is going to go up. I'm going to just do all my tag skills and then worry about the rest, I think. So let's bring... Let's bring small guns up to 80. Lockpick up to 60. And energy weapons I don't really need yet. So I can hold off on that. What else should I do? 
I could do science, or I could do repair, or I could do more first aid. Suggestions. I I'm fine with uh, getting suggestions, because this game does not hold your hand at all. I mean, it's all up to you. Small guns, I'm definitely... Small guns, I think, is good at that point. Um, I mean, or I could just pour it all in the small guns and just be amazing. You will need repair later. Uh, I could start buffing it up. 25 repair? Okay. I like that. Let's go with that. Repair is useful. Science is useful. I mean, just like just like in the, the, the newer games. They're useful. But, uh, yeah. Uh, this is fine. My melee skill is getting me by. If Sulik would get out of that friggin' doorway... Dude, come on. So like. Oh my god. You're still standing in that fucking doorway. Oh, there we go. Okay. Alright. Okay, I was like, I know there's more rats here. And I, I'm getting by with 55%. Yeah, see? Uh, that's good. Can I search here? No. There we are. Yeah, knocked it on its ass. Between that and the crits, I'm doing less damage, but when I hit, man. When I crit, I crit well. Oh, there's a dead body here. Uh-oh. Hey kids, wanna see a dead body? Damn it! I was like, where's the rat? Rat missed. Okay. So we cleared the area. And that's the oh, that's a sewer level down. Where's the dead body? Where's the dead body? I'm standing in it. Strong pre uh, peasant. He had nothing on him. I'm so happy to hit level 3. Just wait till, wait till I get a decent gun. Alright, we're gonna go check that door, because we didn't check that door, and then we're gonna go down. Let's F6 it. Right here. Seriously? Nothing? Nothing. Can I tell you how much I hate going into a room and finding absolutely nothing? Wait, is that a locker? Hold on. Teasing me. Why won't they give me anything? Very annoying. Alright, let's go back here. <clears throat> this game is being stingy with its loot. It's not like Bethesda where everything... Everything that dies has something for you. All right, so look, come on, man. Let's go. We need to go. Oh, thank God. Light. Blessed light. Okay, well, let's see what's in the corner here. Nothing? Uh, let's see. I see a cart. A cart has nothing. Okay. Hello. What do we got here? Ah. 
Oh, I can pick up rocks. Why would I want a rock? Could be for distraction purposes. I shall pick up three rocks just for the hell of it. What is this? Uh oh. Alright, run over here. Let's see what else is. Oh, there's more stuff here. There we go. Broken desk. In a cave. Sure. Why not? It's in the desk. Come on. Bullets! Oh, yeah. Alright, quick save there. Now we have all of this to go through. It looks like an old printing press or manufacturing doohickey. Let's go down this way. Oh, shit. I thought he was further down. Rat was knocked to next week. Um, the rat is running away. I'm going to turn it off. Giving you a chance, rat. Come on. Four hit points. Holy crap. Asshole. Oh, what's this? Hold on. This is why left shift, everyone. Left shift. Crowbar. A crowbar is not as good as my spear, I think. Uh, let's see. No, it is not. Okay. Uh, pistol is on this floor somewhere. Yeah, I'll keep an eye out. Thank you. Bunch of rocks. A whole lot of rocks. There's a mallet over there. Oh, that looks like something. I see a dead body. A knife. Maybe it's a combat knife. Alright, we'll figure it out. We'll find it, hopefully. Is this a dead end? What's going on here? Dead. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. There's a pile of something over here, so let's just work our way across. Yeah, let's just work our way uh, in maybe... Yeah, let's do a counterclockwise sweep or something. There's a lot of rats here I could kill, though. Hmm. Oh, that's another rat. All right. You can go up, over, and around. Damn, stupid labyrinth. Oh, turn off the combat. Turn off the combat. That's a lot of bones. I was going to say. Okay. Oh, that's another level down. Okay, we got to keep looking around. That's a ladder down. We don't want to go down. Okay, here. I can go in through here, go all the way around, and come down and, and back. Okay, let's do that. Yeah, we'll see. We'll find out very soon. Oh, boy. Back up! Sorlik! Yeah. 
Sula, Sula got me. <laughs> Let's see. The other one's engaged? They're not. I'm gonna run in here and engage them. Gotta play that action point game. There we go. Wait, what? I dropped my weapon? It's oh, a roundhouse kick a bitch. Alright. <laughs> yeah, I um I was critically dropping my weapon left and right. Where is my weapon? Thank you. You back my spear. I had that specially made in my hometown. Don't mess with me. He picked up the spare. There we go. Now, what is this? See, why do these hammers. Sledgehammer! Bones. I can search the bones and. Another crowbar. Ah! I don't need another crowbar and I don't, I don't want the weight. Oh, that one didn't even notice me. Okay, he's dead. So looks gonna get that one? No. There it is. Here it comes. Here comes the bite. No. No, he had to zigzag his way. Alright, good. Dead. Ah, rats. Nice and easy. I don't know why I think that's so funny. I don't know why. Alright, good. Got a whole bunch of rocks here and nothing else. Right, I went that way already. Alright, so let's go check out that dead body. Oh, and here I thought I, I got this guy. Oh, shit. I, okay. I'm not sure how exciting this game is to watch. I mean, it's interesting, definitely. But the turn-based is, oh, you know, it's very slow. Alright, so I came down here. So let me go up this way since the. <gasps> Excuse me. Right? Hey, you know what? The music's peaceful, I guess. Where's the rats? There's like a ton of rats here. We're actually doing fairly well here. He's dead. Yeah. Oh my god. He's not gonna make it. Oh, I can actually go back. 
Slick. Oh shit! I <laughs> sorry. Oh my god, I hit the wrong guy. Uh oh, rats. Lots of rats. Did he just kill two of them? No, he killed one. Alright, good. Alright, Spoon, have a great day at work. Or, have, try and have a good day at work. Yeah, no, it's, 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 it's perfect background music. <sighs> wow, can't believe a half an hour passed, though. Imagining things, or did that did that stuff vibrate? I know there's a rat here. Okay, there it is. That was stupid. Walked right into it. I'm trying to sneak up on him. He's certainly dead. Uh, you know what? I think I will take the opportunity to take some sleeping powder right now. Or maybe let me just finish this out. then save picked up the knife ah, it looks as if the person died very painfully I don't see the gun. All right, hold on a second. I'm going to uh, I'm going to check a walkthrough. Um, Fallout two rats in uh, trapper. Trapper Town, Rat Caves, here we go. Our place underneath Klamath is the source of the rodent scourge. Citizens that live in the buildings above and perhaps inside the caves were killed by invading rats. The rodents are accompanied by yeah, I don't, a combat knife. Okay, no. It's, it's, uh, it's on the third level. Third floor. Okay, let's do it. <sighs> Let me see something here. So the sledgehammer is 12 pounds. Can I even use it? Four to 10. Probably has a lot of knockback. No, I like my uh, spear. Thank you. Um. But I got a knife, not a combat knife. Yeah, freaking knife. Sulik, my boy. Time for you to earn some, uh... Time to carry my burdens. Where is he? Shit. Alright, whatever. We'll do it later. Only got a few more minutes here, but let's see if we can actually make it to the end. Save.
Hello. Right. Lots of stuff down here. Oh, that's probably who we need to beat. Um, dang. Can't do this right now, actually. I'm just thinking. Alright, let, let's go a little further. Oh, I forgot to get out of combat. So we could take the north path and go that way, but we don't need to do that yet. I'm going to go this way. Right, I really should heal. Oh, there's something big over there. And it's coming. Dude, how did you... Wow, he really saw me from far away. Okay. Dead. Heading off with cool stuff. Yeah, no problem. Retro, thanks for hanging out, man. Okay, we are definitely hurting here. I'm going to try and take... Winding path here. Here it comes. Lost my mojo. Oh boy. I Sulik is the true hero of this game. I mean hell, I didn't even have to hire him. Oh my god, come on. <laughs> oh my god. Hello. Oh shit, 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 shit. Oh, I went too close. Okay. You know what? Yeah. I, I think you I think you can get a bullet, thank you. Bullet in the head. Oh my god. Really? Oh, for the hell of it. Thank you. Okay, uh, yeah, healing time. Healing time. Let's use some of that awesome, awesome sleeping powder. I lost one perception. That's not horrible. Uh, let's fix this and see if I can eat something. Okay, um, that's awful. Uh, let's eat some more. We're up to 23 hit points. I got my gun back. I'm looking at it, let's do a quick save here. Yeah guys, I'm gonna have to stop here. Uh, I need to take care of some stuff this morning, so. I will be back, hopefully, uh, later tonight, um, 9 p.m. Eastern, so I know that's late for some of you, uh, but I'll be around 9, 9.30 Eastern, uh, if, if I can. Let's see if there's anybody around to do a host. Since we have a few people here. Let's 
see who's doing what. Any of the Midnight Miscreants playing? I don't think so. Uh, you know what? Uh, Toys R Us kid. I just uh, met him today. He's playing Deus Ex Human Revolution, which is, uh, I know you guys like that game. So, host Toys R Us kid. Have a good one. Talk to you later.